true spirit of warfare by faith is when you learn by God to become, not to become restless. People are fighting you, but you're resting. Attacks are coming on every side, but you're resting. It doesn't mean that the enemies are not there. No. But even in the middle of their enmity, he's resting. When a man is told by God and situations come, that man comes down. He says that a son shall be born who shall be a man of rest and I will give him rest from all his enemies. Whatever you fight, you ignite. You know, it's everything you're fighting, carnally, right? You give power. But the devil's temptation is for you to fight something else except faith. You're supposed to fight to believe. Not to fight against those things that are against you. Wake up and make yourself happy in spite of the situation. That's called fight of faith. Fight to believe that it's fixed. God has a way of coming in when the devil thinks he has won. There's a lady, you've been feeling like things are moving in your head. You are almost at the verge of running mad because there are things that you've been feeling moving in your head. Be delivered right now. You've been feeling like things that are like insects. God is delivering you right now. And you are going to run mad. But God changes it in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Apostle. This is the lady who had things working in her head, who almost want, was going to run mad. You called out the circumstance and she is healed completely well. Hey, somebody, your heart has been feeling like it's falling out. God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus. You spoke of a lady who, who felt like their heart was getting out. This is her. She had a kidney issue. She was diagnosed with a kidney issue. She had a very sharp pain and her heart was feeling the way it was you, you, like you it's falling out yeah it, that like it was falling out the moment you mentioned it her heart got settled inside and the pain left immediately there is somebody who came limping on your left leg was paining on your left just in the ankle area check it right now god is healing it right this very moment in the name of jesus she had a pain in her leg no, the left, the, left it leg. was that the one with yeah. the pain on the left oh, three. It's gone. Somebody clap for Jesus. There is somebody who has been having a problem in your chest. Just like where I'm holding right now. God, there's something that's been blocking you. Painful. God is delivering you right now. You spirit of infirmity, I command you to come out. Yeah. He had a lung damage from 2013. He had a what? Lung damage. From 2013. A lung damage. Yes. From and, 2013. Yeah, and it has he has been carrying severe pains in the chest. Since 2013. Since 2013. And now he is healed. You're totally healed. He, he's totally no healed. pain. No pain. Since 2013. Yes, sir. Somebody give the Lord a mighty hand of <laughs> praise. The Lord. He has had a, he has been dizzy for the last one and a half month, and they he had also the same problem with the heart. Yeah. As now prayed, the pain is gone. It's gone. Totally. How was the pain? Was yes, tell me. It, it, the, the pain is completely gone from the heart. Eh? Yeah. And my, my head, which has been dizzy for about one and a half months, is also. If you're near a sick person and you know them, or your friends or related, just lay your hand on them. I feel God is healing now. She had a toothache since April this year, and it's gone. <laughs> Somebody clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> I have this feeling in a few years they are going to talk about us. Somebody say I'm a child of rest. Say
say it again.